Hello, and welcome back to Hard Knocks Games. Today we're going to be reviewing the special edition Harder and Steenbeck Heraldes Infinity Airbrush, and comparing it to a couple of my other favorite Harder and Steenbeck models. Later on, we'll talk about how this $300 airbrush compares to some less expensive options, so that you can decide which one is right for you. The Heraldes Infinity Airbrush was designed by, you guessed it, Angel Geraldes, a renowned painter, and he made it to assist painters at every skill level by improving accuracy and control. Right off the bat, I'm noticing that the trigger has a lip on the front end, which I definitely don't like the feel of. Maybe it's just the size of my hands. I do have these big old clown claws here, but I don't know how much accuracy and control I can get from a trigger that my finger feels like it's gonna slip right off the back of. Compared to the Chameleon, also from Harder and Steenbeck, the body on the Heraldes is shorter. The idea is that you can get your airbrush closer to your model, which makes this airbrush ideal for detailing miniatures. This set includes three needle caps, which they refer to as sketching caps, which are meant to help you maintain an even distance from your work, as well as preventing you from bending your needle when you go to remove dried paint from the tip. I'm just playing around here, painting whatever I happen to have laying around. And other than the uncomfortable trigger, I don't have any major complaints. Since the body on this airbrush is a few centimeters shorter than some of the other Infinity models, you won't be able to use the bigger cups on the Heraldes. So again, I feel like this airbrush is much better suited for details than it is for covering larger scale areas. They do warn you of this though, in the advertisements for the Heraldes edition, they said that it wouldn't be able to use the larger volume cup, so it's not like it was a surprise. If you're wondering what sets these $300 airbrushes apart from their less expensive counterparts, for me, it's how easy they are to disassemble and put back together. You tend to do a lot of that when you're airbrushing, and since I like to be able to quickly switch between colors and needle sizes, I prefer to have a few different airbrushes ready to go at one time. I might be a little bougie. I like to switch airbrushes, not needles. Compared to the Chameleon, my favorite model from Harder and Steenbeck, the Heraldes is noticeably heavier. Sometimes I prefer to have that extra weight since it helps to keep my hands steady, but for longer painting sessions, I generally reach for the Chameleon. Both the Chameleon and the original Infinity are compatible with the bigger paint cups, but the quality is top-notch across the board. Another difference between the regular Infinity airbrushes and the Heraldes is the design on the needle capture nut. You can see that the Heraldes uh, needle nut is a little bit of a longer body style so you can get a little bit more of a grip on it yeah my biggest complaint with this airbrush has to be the trigger like the trigger feels good as far as mechanically operating really great control over air and paint but i do not like that front lip on there that is obviously a personal design preference for me but your mileage may vary on that, but I, I will probably grind that thing off. Now, if you're new to airbrushing and you're not quite ready to invest in a high-end airbrush, I'd recommend this one from Mr. Hobby. This is the Krios P270. It's a Japanese airbrush, solid steel design. It's a lot heavier, but it'll literally spray anything you put through it. Holds a ton of paint in this cup. Only costs about 150 bucks, and for the quality of it, it's really good. Biggest disadvantage of this airbrush is the cup does not come off and uh, you can't change needle sizes in these. But for beginners, nothing wrong with it. But if you wanna jump both feet in the deep end, get the top of the line from out the gate, I recommend anything in the Infinity line from Harder and Steenbeck. The Heraldes brush is awesome, uh, just maybe not for me. Thanks for listening, bye.